it simple. From the Recovery Learning Series at supportnet.ca. Resources for your recovery. Recovery is learning to enjoy life without the use of alcohol or drugs that alter mind or mood. It is treatment for the condition of addiction, an approach to the challenges of life, and a path to personal growth. Recovery requires us to learn about the true nature of addiction. It may be personalized, but it has its necessary principles and its ways. The principles of recovery provide direction to the choices that we face each day. The ways of recovery provide us with tools that help us to heal and to enjoy life on life's terms. This learning seminar introduces the importance to keep it simple. What you need to know about learning to live a less stressful life. Letting go. Addiction both creates and thrives upon a life in turmoil. Early recovery brings the frustrating symptoms of post-acute withdrawal, problems with attention and memory, sensitivity to stress, and emotional irritability. Add to that our impatience that we want everything fixed yesterday, and you will understand why so many of the traditional phrases of recovery encourage us to keep it simple. A great deal about recovery is about letting go of the many ways that we complicate life. To take on too much too soon is a common error of recovery. It is a misunderstanding or non-acceptance of the many challenges to early recovery. We also try to fix things and make up for damage done to our life and relations. To take a break, to learn new ways and to allow time to heal inside are simpler ways but that require us to let go of our struggle for control. Once understood, the ways of recovery can be a huge relief. Healthy boundaries, straightforward ways, letting go of struggle, asking for help. The ways of recovery counteract the turmoil of addiction and help us to find a more satisfying life. Into action. Acceptance is a first step to a more settled life. Acceptance of the true nature of addiction, of our need to put health first, and of the fact that there are only 24 hours in one day. Acceptance helps us to step out of the rushed struggle to make everything work out our way right now. The second step to a simpler life is to keep an open mind that the pressured ways of life are not the only option. And the third step is willingness to let go of the old habits and to try new ways. Willingness to change and to persist in your effort one day at a time. Take time out to make a list of the important things for you to do today. Writing helps us to organize our thoughts and to clear the clutter from our head. Keep in mind to keep it simple. A daily list of things to do is not a wish list, but is best to include those things that are possible to accomplish. Remember first things first. Do what is necessary for you to do for your recovery today. Then write down the other most important goals for the day. The phrase, one step at a time, is a reminder to not try to do everything at once and to finish one step before starting another. Our mind can imagine things much faster than we can accomplish them. Consider how much time the things on your list will take. Check your boundaries. Do you do things for others that they could better do for themselves? Let go and take a break in your day. Give others a chance to do for their self. Stay in the day. Trying to make up for yesterday's mistakes will only add pressure to the challenges of this day. And time spent in worry is time lost from this moment. Ask for help with the things necessary to do. Learn to say no when it is best to do so, and set time aside for yourself first. Don't wait until everything else is done to do so. Don't let feelings push you around. Feelings of guilt are a common reason to take on too much in one day. Notice, talk, and write about your feelings. Do what you need to do to sort them through. Just don't let feelings from the past push you over your limit today. Remember to pace yourself and to balance your day. 
It is not about what others can do in their day, or whether we are better or faster than them. It is our life that we are living today, and a healthy life is not lived as a race. And lastly, remember that to keep it simple means to listen to the wisdom of our heart. It is the simple truths that we know inside that help us to see through the many ways that we will otherwise complicate our day. In summary, addiction both creates and thrives upon a life in turmoil. Healthy boundaries, straightforward ways, letting go of struggle, asking for help. The ways of recovery counteract the turmoil of addiction and help us to find a more satisfying life. You have now reached the end of Keep It Simple. Look for this and other learning series topics at www.supportnet.ca. Resources for your recovery.